Okay, folks, we seem to be picking up heaps of these and washing them. Uh, we've got to wash them, nice, make them a bit cleaner and a bit less, yeah, don't want ants getting to it. Uh, in this unit, I don't want ants in my unit, folks. Uh, let's see how we go. I'm actually wondering if I should do it at 200 or I'll soon find out. Okay, let's see how we've got this. Let's see what this is. It is a can. Red eye rye red ale. Interesting, strange looking, ugly looking. Um, looks like something off an indie record label or something. Or something from the underground. I like underground, but I'm not a big fan of this ugly looking shit but you know you get that red eye rye interesting let's just roll this across i think it's a bit yeah we need to make it a bit smaller than 200 i think maybe we might hit it at 170 by maybe 170 let's see what we can do with this red eye rye drink can let's see if we can make it look any good Yeah, yeah, there was a right record shop called Red Eye Records in the city. I used to go there a lot and pick up some really good records, or mainly, um, I, mean, I think it was mainly CDs I used to buy uh, from there. A lot of indie labels and shit like that, and lots of really good music that you wouldn't hear on the radio typically, except for indie type radio stations. So, yeah, I can relate to a lot of this shit, and yeah. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. Yeah, I like I like those like record labels, all this strange esoteric sort of music that you don't typically hear on the radio and it's really like it's like to do with photocopier art as a part of this underground type aesthetic and I that's why I like it's one that's what one of the things I like about that can design is that it, it reminds me of that sort of uh, copier culture uh, type stuff like the old days before CDs were popular you would you would have a cassette player or a cassette recorder and you could tape music off the radio I used to do that when I was young I used to tape music off the radio and if I really really liked the music I would then go to a place like Red Eye Records or, or if not Red Eye some other place and I'd order in a recording a proper recording of the um art the music um and i'd pay for it so i'd pay for a, a, a bit of recording in the shit off a radio and, and often i did it on a monophonic radio i did get a stereo eventually which i shared with my brother but yeah and that's come up the shape of that looks really nice it's an interesting look <laughs> We're going to utilise it, folks. I would have liked to have had a bit of uh, cyan in it. Uh, I do wonder if we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to use it. But yeah, this is the kind of shit that reminds me of my uh, mixtape days. Making mixtapes off the radio. There's nothing like it, folks. Uh, in those days, you could just do that. Nowadays, you can't. you got things like Spotify... But Spotify is useless unless you pay for the premium version. You can't use it for free and expect to get what you want. You can't, you can't basically decide 
uh, what music you want. You basically make a playlist and then they add music to your playlist and you get this jumbled mess of music that you don't know or want and you can't even decide when to play it and when not to play it. So you're fucked up. And it's all about money fuckery and copier culture isn't like that in, in its raw form. Even though I'd like to become a, an artist who's risen above the underground and I want to make a difference in this world, I'm not just interested in making money for my own sake. I do want to help others with, with it by using it, my talent. But basically copier culture is like that mixtaping and shit like that as well as the actual copier itself so yeah mixtaping was indeed a very uh, popular thing in the 80s and the early 90s um, but now it's like it's a thing of the past of course even though tapes have made some kind of resurgence in recent times it's never going to come back to its full amount and that's come up looking really quite nice I think we can work with that so yeah, this is it, and basically I'm trying to bring the underground up from the underground by going on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. But I'm not going to forget my roots, folks. I'm not going to forget my roots as an artist, being a low-wage artist, not having money for my art, having to deal with disability and low budget to try and get my way out of this low life existence of being disabled and not having it's very really hard to do my art on a low budget folks and I'm trying to, I want to get in touch with my partner Luigi, I can't get in touch with him unless I go to the air on the 6 o'clock news I don't know where my partner is but I don't want to forget my roots when I do become rich and famous I don't want to forget my roots and I want to give to help others, help charities and humanitarian causes one day I want to redesign the photocopier from scratch and it's going to be full of all sorts of apps that you can buy for really 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 low budget that you can use in the copier system of the future so I have to go and rise above the underground to make a brighter future po possible not just for me and for humanity but for the photocopier itself because the photocopier industry is all about profit and and profiteering and marketeering and evil 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 it's a horrible industry folks and i want to reform it from scratch my design will be my own design of photocopier i'm not going to involve corporations in it it's going to be my own fucking hard work and it's going to pay off i'm going to think positive folks and it's going to pay off one day i'll make a difference i'll help the world i'll help people in the planet keep the humanitarian shit flowing and that's come up really nice i think we can now call this demo quits